welcome back to my channel Don Marie here and today's video is me reacting to Matt Walsh's video of my video on here which is benefits of dating a trans woman first off I want to say I know that this video has triggered so so many of you with the very 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 negative rhetoric that like trans women are better than cisgender women and that altogether dating a trans woman is so much better and being misogynistic and just saying really 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 nasty things in that video now let me remind you that i made this video four years ago and um i was 21 turning 22 and i'm tw i'm about to be 26 next month August 24th, Virgo Nation. I was definitely more young and more dumb and more naive and definitely more of like a hey pick me kind of person. Um, mind you, I was only like a year and a half into my transition and like as a gay man, like I never dated at all and dating and transitioning it was all something very new to me so like I was very like a hey pick me kind of situation and I just think that like it upset a lot of you and that was definitely the reaction I was looking for and hoping for when making this video I wanted to upset a lot of you and I did and that's definitely a way to like gain traction on YouTube but the way that I did it was not okay and like it was very misogynistic and I love being a woman like you know and I know that struggles that we face daily like when it comes to like the public trying to tell us who to be and all this and all that and I although I do know that my struggles are different than a lot of women's struggles we do have a lot of the same struggles like I just think that it's better that we unite instead of trying to be separated when Matt made this video first of all I didn't even know that he made a video about me until someone commented on one of my videos um, oh like this comment if you're here from Matt Walsh's video on and then I just see so many people like um, commenting hateful things on my videos so I know that his poisonous army was just like attacking me they're still attacking me to this day like literally every few minutes I see a new comment um, which I don't understand why he felt the need to like you know react to this video and it was so many years ago like I've grown I'm such a different person mentally physically like everything about me is just completely different I don't know but whatever um so yeah, today I'm here to react to Matt Walsh's video about me. We know that we live in an enlightened age when it comes to our understanding of a gender. And by enlightened, I mean insane and confused. We're told that men are women and women are men and some women are men and women and some men are men and women and like armadillos or whatever. <laughs> but the trans agenda has run into a kind of a problem, which is sort of interesting. We're supposed to see men as women if they call themselves women, but they aren't really women, and other men know that. And if other men are heterosexual, then they aren't going to be attracted to a man just because he says he's a woman. So that, that presents a real problem. You can't blame heterosexual men for wanting biological females. That's how they're oriented. It's their orientation. It's their identity. You know? And that's the conundrum that the gender... So, like... Already he's being transphobic and he's saying that transgender people are trying to like force people to see them as the gender that you know they want to identify as and like gender is a social construct and like if a person that is trans is walking down the street and looks exactly like the gender that they are portraying or identifying as then that's exactly what you're going to refer to them as especially if you don't know that they are trans no one is forcing you to do diddly squat now i understand the sjw's who are like trying to push the narrative that like oh you know all these genders triple gender all this all that normal trans people who are just living their everyday lives are just simply being just that and living their authentic lives as their authentic selves you like calling trans women he it's like it shows what your intentions were before making this video and it's very clear and 
no one is forcing men to do anything like I've never ever had a problem with a man wanting to date me or to be attracted to me or anything even after finding out that I was trans like you saying that we force men to do things is just like crazy like we're not forcing them to do anything there's a whole line of suitors who want to date trans people trust me when i tell you suitors find themselves in and uh, they're always trying to find a way out of it one way out of it is to simply berate heterosexual men and demand that they be attracted to trans people so that, that's one thing you could do find them attractive damn you be attracted to these people another strategy is what you find in this video that we're going to play for you right now a um, person goes by the name Don Marie. This is a transgender person who identifies as a woman, explaining, uh, just kind of laying out a case for why uh, straight men should date so-called trans women. In fact, the <clears throat> I had to clear my throat for that one. I'm not a so-called trans woman. I am a trans woman, and like, where are you getting your facts? Like, I really would love to know. From the research I've done, science is more on trans people's side. But anywho, let's continue. The case being made here is that, is that, is that uh, straight men are better off dating biological males who identify as women. Let's give it a watch. Today we're going to talk about the reasons and the benefits of dating a transgender woman and why we are probably most likely, I don't want to be biased, but why we're probably most so likely young. a better candidate of uh, dating than like, you know, your average bitch. The first reason being, we are strong, strong individuals. We've had to endure a lot, you know, within our life and we've been through a lot and it just makes us stronger people and it makes us really sweet. You go through as much as a trans woman who's been like either kicked out of her home or she's been beat up by people, by bullies and stuff. She's going to be a very, very loving, caring person because she doesn't want anybody to feel what she's been through, you know? So she's going to be super sweet and she's just going to be a loving person. So... Females aren't strong. Biological women are not strong. Is what I'm getting at. Oh, sorry, not female. Uh, I believe the scientific term I wrote it down here, being used here, is um, average bitch. Damn. To describe biological women, and that's okay. Okay, that's, don't be insulted. You can't be insulted, ladies. You, and if you are insulted, you're not allowed to say so because that's the lesson. Remember, that's if if you're being insulted and degraded by a trans person, then uh, if they're invading your privacy, even. If they're going into your locker room or your bathroom you and you're thinking, gee, I'd rather have privacy, uh, you, all you're allowed to do is smile and say thank you. So when you're being insulted right now, that is all. That is female empowerment. Okay, I just want to say really quickly, how did you go from women not being able to stand up for themselves to a whole different issue on locker rooms and bathrooms? First off, when I go to the bathroom or the changing room, I am simply going there to do just that, change or use the bathroom. Most of the times, the restrooms smell like ass, so I really want to get out of there super quickly. Secondly, I never have an issue when I go into the women's restroom. The only thing that ever happens is a woman will tell me how pretty I look, or I like what you're wearing, I like your makeup, I like your hair. Just little things that women do to communicate in the bathroom when we see something that we like. Very fun, very much so why women take so long, because we make friends in the bathroom instead of actually doing what we gotta do. He's acting like trans people are super predatory and go into the bathroom with a hidden agenda as if we're about to peek over under the stall and try to look at someone's goodies. Like, no, uh, that is not what I went in there to do. I went in there to do one thing and I'm going to walk out as soon as that gets done. One time I mistakenly went into the men's restroom and they looked at me like I was a lunatic and they're like, excuse me, miss, what are you doing in here? Um, your bathroom's over there um and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry like you know does this look like the face of someone who belongs in the male restroom absolutely not so again your argument is so weak so weak I'm sorry this right here this series of insults and it continues and gets worse let's keep watching to 
for why you should date a trans woman instead. I'm just kidding. We are more appreciative of the small things. We don't need you to, like, you know, go buy us an expensive lunch or, you know, spend a hundred dollars on something for me to be happy. We just want you to, like, hold our hands in public. We just want you to be happy that you're with us. Like, you know, little things like holding your hand in public can make us super happy because, you know, there are people out there that want to hide us. So, you know, we're we're easy to please. We don't we don't have like super unobtainable. I just want to say, like, when I was saying all this stuff, it was very, very pick me, pick me. I was so young and like I was so new to like being a woman that like you know, I felt like that I had to be. I really meant no harm. <laughs> I really did not mean for people to see this video, but a lot of y'all did. Standards. Like, we do have standards. Not gonna, I don't wanna make it sound like we don't have standards, but you know, we, we are not just like stuck up and like bougie and just wanting the world from you. We just appreciate the small things. Get it where I'm living. Okay, so I, I'm, cause I'm taking notes here and I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to, you know, just make sure that I'm, uh, I'm listening and I'm being a good student. So biological women are weak, materialistic, stuck up, bougie b That's what I'm gathering here. First of all, I did not say any of that. There are a lot of women who require a man to like spend money on her or requires a lot. And I'm sure you know this, Matt, so don't act like you don't know that women can be very expensive or can try to like use you for like food on a first date and then never talk to you again. Like these things do happen, but I'm not saying that every woman is like this. Dang, our friend Don Marie. I'm not your friend. It's saying that. <laughs> so, so far, this is just a, a parade of insults <laughs> against, against women. And uh, there's not, but there's not so much of a, of a real case. Like we're not getting over the um the hump i was looking for a better word to use there and i couldn't find it so i just went with hump i we're not really getting over the hump here of of this this difficulty of how do you get around the fact that a heterosexual male is is, is actually, actually wants a female that's the whole that's sort of like the whole point really um sexually if you're a heterosexual male so we haven't gotten to that part yet maybe we will let's keep watching number three for why it is beneficial to date a transgender woman is not all guys want to have kids believe it or not right now i'm talking to a guy who doesn't want to have kids and that's where i actually got this little pointer from um you know we can't get pregnant which means we don't have periods either so a lot of guys don't want kids there's so much pressure to have a kid when there's a guy and a female you know in a relationship there's like oh well now hurry it up like we want you to get married have some kids you know not all guys want kids so you know if you don't want kids we're the perfect candidate for you. Like at first I was like, hmm, you know, maybe I'm, I'm sad because I want to have my own children too. But you know, whatever, like, you know, I'll, I'll keep my body nice and toned and fit and you know, keep it stretch mark free. You know, I do have stretch marks on the side of my booty. Joe, okay, your internet service is horribly slow and it's time to make a change. I just feel my brain cells committing Harry Carey. They're, they're committing ritualistic suicide in protest for subjecting them to this. Uh, no offense. So update the list. Biological women are weak, materialistic, stuck up, bougie, stretch mark riddled. That's what. That, that, again, that's that's the portrait. Rather, I should say the cartoon of women that's being presented to us here and not just here the the entire the left's entire agenda when it comes to gender rests on this kind of thing by the way trans women quote unquote can't get pregnant is that is that what you're saying correct that's true i mean that that is finally some good information we got we got one fact when a woman gets pregnant she is bound to get stretch marks on her body um, on her stomach region and whatnot. Obviously, I was saying like, oh, like if I don't get pregnant, I won't have to worry about stretch marks. I think that he is again magnifying in 
onto that very small detail and demonizing it and making it seem like I'm just making fun of women for having stretch marks when I right after that said that I have stretch marks on the side of my butt and I love them you know what I mean so I just don't understand biologically correct information but why do you think that is? It's a man, baby! All, see, you've got... Let's think about this for a second. All biological women um, can get pregnant barring old age or disease. Right? Uh, so, in other words, in principle, biological women can get pregnant. On the other hand, quote-unquote trans women can never get pregnant. Ever. Under any circumstance. Huh. I mean, it's it's almost like we have two different categories of people here, and there's a there's a word for that. What's the word? Where, you, where you've got you've got two two potential categories, um, and so you, you know, on one hand you have people who can get pregnant, on the other hand you have people who can't get pregnant, and um, what is it when you got two different categories? Oh, binary. Yeah. So it's it's almost as if we have a binary system here, of uh, preg. Pre people who can get impregnated and people who can impregnate. I just want to follow up on what he's saying with some uh, research. Since he wants to talk about binary and like sexual organs. So here in my research, it says nearly everyone in middle school biology learned that if you've got XS chromosomes, you're a female. If you've got XY, you're a male. This tired simplification is great for teaching the importance of chromosomes, but betrays the true nature of biological sex. The popular belief that your sex arises only from your chromosomal makeup is wrong. The truth is your biological sex isn't carved in stone, but a living system with the potential for change. Why? Because biological sex is far more complicated than XX or XY or XXY or just X. XX individuals present with male gonads. XY individuals can have ovaries. How? Through a set of complex genetic signals that, in the course of a human's development, begins with a small group of cells called the bipotential primordium in a gene called SRY. Basically, it's saying that biology and the chromosomes have nothing to do with how you will actually turn out in the future. It's time for you guys to stop pushing the narrative and stop using phony science to justify transphobia. All it's doing is making you look dumb. And these scientists have used actual trans people to further this research. It's almost what it seems like. I don't know. I got to think more about this, but all right, let's, uh, let's finish this up. Number four would be that we know a man's needs more than your average girl. The reason that being is because we've been on the other side. If you're catching my drift. Number five, hope. I feel like number five is because trans women are more feminine and make more of an effort. The reason that being is, is because we're making up for what we for what we lacked in our previous life. I do have to say that this is usually very, very true. Now, this is one fact that I will stick by. I know all the other ones are super misogynistic and very, very pick me, but this one here, trans women are definitely more feminine when it comes down to it. I know this because women like to say, oh, you're just an over-sexualized, over-feminized version of me and all this and all that. I'm like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with being overly feminine? Like, I don't understand that. Like, women were born women and like, they have this advantage and like their fathers are telling them like, oh, you're a princess, don't ever let anyone hurt you or tell you what you should or should not be and all this and all that. And I'm just like, trans women did not have the same experience and we're making up for lots of times. So yeah, we're gonna be a little more feminine and a little more, uh, you know, girly when it comes down to it. Like, I feel like girls take advantage of being a woman sometimes like I've seen it so many times and I've heard it from literally almost every man I don't know the proof is in the pudding we care about our appearance 
and we just want to look spruced up and feminine at all times. Guys love that. Guys appreciate it. I heard from a few guys that I've dated like, you know what, like I really appreciate trans women because they actually take the time to get ready and don't take advantage of being a woman. I actually did include a clip in this video where I said, not. I put a little text clip that said not all the time, just majority of the time we're going out like all the time is unrealistic but he for some reason purposefully did not add that clip in there we just want to look spruced up and feminine at all times i wonder why because he's trying to paint me as this awful horrible person and he's turning a lot of the narrative in this video into something even more worse than it actually is but i get it Babe, you gotta make your money. I see that you make a lot of videos on trans people. I don't know. Do you have a hidden agenda or something? Like, okay. God, this hair is getting on my nerves right here. You guys actually, like, take the time and effort to be feminine and to be girly. And you guys aren't trying to, like, step all over our toes all the time. Okay, well, let's... Uh, uh, f final update to the list. Biological women are... Weak, materialistic, stuck-up, bougie, fat, stretch-mark-riddled, lazy, unfeminine Damn! But other than that, great. And Don, I got to tell you, the, the people you're dating who compliment you um, on taking so long to get ready, those are called gay men. And a hint that they're gay is that they're dating a biological male. So that's really kind of a dead giveaway right there. But if you need more... Um, no straight man anywhere ever is eager for their, their wife or their girlfriend to take more time to get ready. That just doesn't, no straight man, when their woman comes out of the bathroom after 98 minutes and you're, you're late for your dinner reservations, none of them are saying, wow, honey, uh, thank you for putting so much effort into your appearance. Unless they're being sarcastic. No, straight men are, are pounding on the door saying, hey, babe, just throw on some sweatpants. We got to go. Let's go. That's a straight man. So he's saying... <laughs> that every guy basically who dates me is gay um do you see this i literally asked gay men before like just to be silly like hey like would you date me they're like no babe like you don't got what we looking for like i literally have never in my life dated a gay man ever the most i've dated that resembled someone within the LGBT community is a bisexual man also still not gay because he likes men and women and he dated me obviously because I'm a woman also I've never had a man be happy that I was taking hours to get ready <laughs> honestly like are you where are you getting your facts from you sound insane like I literally every guy I've dated gets so pissed that I take a good amount of time to get ready. Every girl that likes to be glam, that likes to do their hair, that likes to do their makeup, that likes to pick out a cute outfit and actually show effort to get ready and not look like they fucking just rolled out of bed um, on a Wednesday night, takes a bit of time to get ready. And it's actually very common amongst women having this issue. No guy I've dated has ever been okay with me taking forever they're actually saying the same exact thing that you're implying uh that don't worry babe like you look great you look great like let's go let's go let's go let's go like i don't want to miss this movie or i don't want to miss this reservation or i don't want to miss the party i understand what i was born as and i am not in denial but this is who i am today and i don't have to prove it to you or the next person that I'm a woman. Like now me back then in the video that you're reacting to, yeah, I definitely would have been so triggered, so upset by the things that you're saying, but like I really can do nothing but just laugh at how transphobic you are and like that you're sitting here trying to hide it. What is your hidden agenda, babe? Why are you spewing out so much hate towards transgender women? Like, what's really going on? Cut it out. <laughs> I only date straight men, sweetie. Sorry. Sorry to bu burst your bubble and your whole conservative Republican audience. The claim here is that biological men identifying as women are not only feminine, but more feminine. They are better at being women than women are.
That's the message these days. The, the message is, if you're a woman, uh, as a woman, you can do anything except be a woman because men are better suited for that role. So what, what do we have here all told? Just to summarize, we have a bunch of insulting generalizations and stereotypes along with a huge misunderstanding about the nature of women and the desires of, of heterosexual men. That's what we have. And that, in fact, is what, what the whole of left-wing gender theory is built upon. Other than that. I know that in that video, you know, I was implying like, oh, trans women definitely are a better candidate. But that was definitely a more pick-me-pick-me pick me situation, like I stated previous times again and again. I just don't understand, like, why is it so hard for you to say transgender women? Like, I'm not a transgender woman. I'm a transgender woman, and I'm very happy about that. If you talk to me now and this this very day, right now, like, if you were to come to me, Matt, and talk to me about that video first, like a mature adult, um, you'd understand that I was young, dumb, naive, and very, very pick me, new to the dating world, new to being a woman. So those things don't match my views today. And I can, I understand like why that video got so much hate and everything. And I am very, very sorry to the people that it triggered, but it really wasn't that serious. Like I did not expect so many people to see it, but like, what did I expect? I put it on the internet and the internet is forever. I just want to read this last little thing about science and society. While this is a small overview, the science is clear and conclusive. Sex is not binary. Transgender people are real. It is time that we acknowledge this. Defining a person's sex identity using decontextualized facts is unscientific and dehumanizing. Okay, the fact the trans experience provides essential insights into the science of sex and scientifically demonstrates that uncommon and atypical phenomena are vital for a successful living system. Even the scientific endeavor itself is quantifiably better when it is more inclusive and diverse. So no matter what a pundit, politician, or internet troll, Matt Walsh, may say trans people are an indispensable part of our living reality. Transgender humans represent the complexity and diversity that are fundamental features of life, evolution, and nature itself. That is a fact. So basically you trying to like erase trans people and you know using your quotations saying like oh transgender woman you know basically saying that transgender people don't exist like babe we're here. Science you know, is here and letting you know, you don't look like a scientist to me. Why is it that you feel like you can come on the internet and just, you know, tell all your little haters and very, very angry mob audience um, that you know everything about trans people? Because clearly you don't and you have no facts to back it up. All you're doing is just catering to your very, very, very angry audience who is spewing a lot of hate to me. And it seems like you're kind of just simping out. Like you really are just trying to like cater to your audience and you're not really giving like your real authentic like thought. Like instead you just decide you, you know, would rather be negative and nasty. That is my reaction to this video. Um, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you agree with what Matt Walsh is saying or if you're more on my side about this topic, I'll leave in the bio a link to where I was getting my information so you guys can read up on it yourselves. Um, but yeah, follow me on all my social medias. They'll be in the link to the description box below. Also, shameless promo, follow my OnlyFans. It'll be linked in the bio as well to see more naughty content of me. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Have a good night or day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.